Hello and welcome PML fans, I'm your host Joe Zamora here and I am bringing you the draft recap for our new PML YouTube draft for 2022. I am the commissioner of the Pokemon Masters League and I am also a participant as well as usual. And uh, last year after our defeat to Morgan in the championship game, and the year before we lost to Pokeberm in that championship game. We're looking to win the championship game this time around. So, I really thought about what I wanted for the most part. And um, hopefully we put together a really solid team. Uh, I'm not going to go in the order I drafted because I honestly don't remember <laughs> exactly the order I drafted. But I know what I picked number one overall. So let's go ahead and just get started with that. So, without further ado, welcome your first Pokemon of the New England Chartriots this season, and that is Dragapult. And I'm sure you guys know we have used Dragapult once before, but that was a long, long time ago, way before uh, Expanded Decks came in and Crown Tundra and all that stuff. So, we used dragapult in our very first draft league got to the semifinals and lost of course but you know hey great outing with dragapult and i plan to use them the same way we used them before hellraiser that is the nickname of this pokemon and he is going to raise hell this season once again he's going to run offensive uh physical he's going to run special maybe one week i even have him run screens and let someone else run the party who knows Dragapult is just a Pokemon that can do so many amazing things, and I am just so ready to get this Mon underway. Um, I mean, look at the stats he has. HP 88, Attack 120, Defense 75, Special Attack 100, Special Defense 75, and Speed of a whopping 142. Fastest Mon in the draft with no speed boost. I mean, if other teams don't have Sucker Punch, it's going to be a problem. And this is why I love Dragapult. I love its design. It's my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon. And I am so glad to be using it in what could be the last Pokemon Masters League Gen 8 Draft League for singles. So, I am very excited for that. And, um, you know, New England Chargers really love their Dragon Fairy Steel Core. And for our next pick, I actually did pick this next if I do remember correctly. Um, and that is no other than Skarmory. And Skarmory uh, is an amazing Pokemon. I mean, Flying Steel, uh, Electric is pretty much its only weakness other than like Fire. But I mean, Dragapult covers that itself. Um, Skarmory is going to be a great Pokemon for us. We love the Stealth Rocks option. We are going to be able to get uh, Defogs off. We're going to be able to chip things down with Body Press. It's going to be able to live forever with Roost. If we want to, we can run Sturdy. Or even one week, hopefully, we can run a pretty offensive set with... Uh, uh, well, I'm not going to give that tech away. But I saw someone else use it in a Draft League battle. And I'm hoping we can get it going, too. But Skarmory is a great Pokemon. Covers Dragapult's fairy weakness very well. So we're really looking for Team Synergy at this point uh, with our second pick. And there's no really better option than Skarmory in Tier 2 for a Steel type. There was Aegislash, but I didn't want to double up on the uh, Ghost weakness. And there was other Steel types there. But Skarmory honestly fit the best to me. Uh, especially uh, I love trying to get Pokemon of a typing that resist their weakness so like ground's a big problem uh with a lot of people that they bring uh not many people draft a fire type and if they do it's sometimes not the best pokemon like uh, the fire type we drafted but we're gonna hopefully get that thing going too we're gonna do our best and uh, that that's why i feel like skarmory is gonna be a great supporter mon um stealth rocks like i said whirlwind things out so they can't set up uh, we keep it on red card if we want to. 
And uh, Skarmory is a tier 2 mon, so it won't be able to Dynamax, but that is completely fine. I mean, look at the stats. We have HP of 65, attack of 80, defense of a whopping 140. That's on par with Dragapult's speed. I mean, just amazing. And then special attack, 40, special defense, 70, and then speed at 70, which means it's not the slowest thing in the world. I mean, depending on what kind of set you're in, it could be faster than most things. So, Skarmory, great wall, but also has great potential with its versatility that it possesses. So, we're going to go ahead and move on to our next pick. And in the third slot, we have uh, Venusaur. Venusaur was not a draft pick we made. Um, we actually had Buzzwall in this position. And we gave up Buzzwall for Venusaur. Um, we originally drafted, uh, oh, Sc sorry, Skarmory's nickname is going to be Rusted Wing. It's going to be shiny, just like you see it there. And it's going to be a great pick again. But, uh, Venusaur here, uh, Tegrity. And it's also going to be one of the shiny Pokemon we bring, uh, weekly. But again, uh, we did not pick Venusaur originally. This was a pickup. And it, I feel like it fits the team a lot better um then our original grass type pick our original grass type pick was uh was uh that, what's the name i love it it's one of my favorite pokemon trevenant there we go uh, but um it did have the ghost secondary ghost weakness uh it did have the ability to like trick room and stuff but it just didn't fit the team as good as i see venusaur is going to fit the team uh, Venusaur gets chlorophyll, so it can get that speed boost if, you know, the opponent gives it to us. Uh, weather ball ability, sleep powder is a big thing. I mean, if we get in under the, uh, right circumstances, growth under sun with chlorophyll, that mon's gonna be busted. And then, not only can it be great offensively, it's very, it's very good on the defensive side. That's a... It's very good offensively, but it could be great on the defensive side, too. So, I think I said that wrong the first time, but I corrected myself. And look at the stats here. 80 HP, 82 attack, 83 defense, special attack of 100, special defense of 100, and speed of 80. So, again, that speed stat may not be great, but it's not bad. And it's not like, you know, 80 speed can easily be buffed to where... You'll you'll be in the good you'll be in the right position now to speed most mons with a simple scarf if you want to one week. And again the chlorophyll ability is gonna be amazing. Again, this is a tier two mon. Won't be able to Dynamax, but it's not a Pokemon that needs to. And like I said, uh great walling potential and also it could be very sneakily offensively. But now we move on to our next pick here. And that's going to be Lycanroc Midday. And this was my... I either picked this second or third. I think I picked Lycanroc before I picked Skarmory. Now that I think about it. But another shiny Pokemon. Three in a row, I know. But I try to split it 50-50. So I have five shiny Pokemon, five non-shiny. So it doesn't get too ridiculous. But um, Lycanroc is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Uh, Lycanroc Dusk, of course, is my more favorite, but uh, you can't... More favorite. Uh, what did I say there? Um, Lycanroc Midday is also a great Pokemon. I loved it before Dusk form came out, so it's not like a crazy jump. Um, the best part about this Pokemon is Excel Rock. 100% accuracy, Rock-type move that always goes first. And, of course, in a league where there's Talon Flames and Charizards and uh, crazy things like that. And a bunch of flying-type Pokemon that we're going to have to be dealing with. It's going to be a great answer to those things. And, not only that, Lycanroc Midday, you slap Adamant Life Orb on it and just Dynamax it. Because it is a Tier 3. It can set up its own sand, outspeed everything in their mama. And, you know, just hit like a fucking truck. Like, this thing just hits hard and lycanroc is going to be a great offensive weapon in this season 
it does have potential to stealth rocks it does have potential to do a lot of things but we are looking at this thing to mainly wall break other people's teams if we bring it. not saying it's going to come every week but the weeks it does come trust me it's going to punch holes hopefully we don't just let it go down to you know just bad players things like that so lycan rock supposed to be a great physical uh wall breaker for us and that's gonna be something we hope to look forward to a lot this season with our shiny lone wolf i mean just look at the stats even without the sand he still has 112 speed hp of 75 attack 115 defense 65 special attack 55 special defense 65 but once you get that sand boost not only are you boosting your speed you're also boosting your special defense by double so that's really 130 deep special defense right there. I mean, I had it in my last season, and it lived a scarf Giga Drain from a Vile Plume. Insanity. That thing can live anything under the under sand with that special defense boost. So I am so looking forward to Lycan Rock this season, and I hope you guys are too. And that brings us to our next Pokemon here. And that's Drapion. I have not used Drapion very effectively in any draft format in my life. <laughs> Most of the time, I don't even get to draft it. But this time around, um, I was looking at, uh, I was looking for a Dark type, and I was like, all right, what's a great Dark type? And it has a really good secondary typing. And you know, I need something to cover that Dragapult's weakness of of Ghost. And I was like. All right, uh, obviously, dark type is great against ghost. And then I was thinking, you know, Drapion is a great Pokemon. Uh, I mean, just look at his stats alone. We got uh, HP of 70, attack of 90, defense of 110, special attack of 60, special defense 75, and speed of 95. So great pick, great Pokemon. It's going to be outspeeding most things with that 95 base speed. If I get a Fell Stinger off, our attack double, our triples. Our attack goes up sky freaking high. And then I can even run that set with an Assault Vest if I wanted to, to add to the bulk of this beast. This thing is going to get a lot of crits this season. It's going to be able to break through walls. It's, gonna, it's another physical Pokemon, but it's fine. It's fine. That's what we need. And um, the dark typing and the poison typing uh, takes care of those dark and fairy types that Dragapult, I mean, ghost and fairy types that Dragapult does not want to be in front of at all whatsoever. So I feel Drapion is a great option to cover Dragapult's weaknesses and still a very offensive pick at the same time, even with all that bulk carries. I know the numbers don't look great besides the defense, but its special defense is actually very good because, you know, most of those moves ain't going to hit too hard against this thing. So, Scorpio the Drapion. Finally non-shiny, right? Uh, that's what we're carrying into the season and loving it every step of the way. And that brings us to our next Pokemon. Fryogonal. This was not... <laughs> this was not a pick mon that uh we picked up uh during the draft we kind of picked this up during the grace period and uh cryogonal is a great pokemon for this team we were needing an ice type we did not have one another levitator mon so uh things like uh drapion and lycanroc have uh pokemon that can cover them like a uh, skarmory it's flying venusaur you know neutral to ground so it can take a pretty big hit from an earthquake or something like that. And then Cryogonal with Levitate ain't going to be affected by spikes and all that stuff. And not only that, it's also a Rapid Spinner. So it gets Rapid Spin and it uh, put Heavy Duty Boots on. It's going to have really great longevity because, I mean, look at the stats it has. HP 80, Attack 50, Defense 50, Special Attack 95, Special Defense 135, and Speed of 105. We got a speedy team so far. I mean, I know, I know uh, on paper it, it looks a little lackluster in speed in most parts. But, I mean, Rock 112, Dragapult 142, this thing at 105, Drapion at 95. Um, it's just so much offensive pressure that we're going to be able to apply. And um, 
I know we're still kind of lacking in the wall department, but we will get there. I promise. But Cryogono is a great Pokemon. Gets great access to certain moves like Freeze Dry. Um, so many things it can do. Like I said, Rapid Spin. Uh, it could just hit hard on that special attack set. And like I said, you put Heavy Duty Boots on, it's going to be able to switch in and out all day long. So this thing's going to be a really great support mon. It might not come every week, but it's going to be one of those niche mons that are going to be able to do big things when it does come. Uh, Stellar. Stellar, or Stellar, however you want to say it. I nicknamed it after what uh, the type of snowflake it actually looks like. So, educating the people while we whoop on the people. You know what I mean? That's what we're doing here. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the next pick. And that is going to be Gastrodon. And boy, do I love my bulky waters. And I just had to have it. Gastrodon is going to be Biggie when it's a Gastrodon East. And when it's Gastrodon West, it's going to be Tupac. So a little bit of a two-parter on that. Um, hopefully you get the references. And uh, drop, a, drop a comment down below if you understand what, I, what I'm going with that uh, East and West deal. But um, very bulky Pokemon. HP of 111, which is beautiful. Attack stat of 83, which I did not know it was that high. Like, why does it have an attack stat of 83? Makes no sense. Put that in defense instead, because defense is only a 68. Special attack is 92. Special defense, 82. Speed is 39, which... We don't care about that. This thing is built to take hits, not not outspeed and dish them out. But this is a great Pokemon as well. It does get sticky hold, so it can hang on to its leftovers. It gets uh, water absorb, so it can uh, <clears throat> soak up hits and dish them back out. And I believe Storm Drain actually is the ability. So it gets that special attack boost, and it's able to dish things out really hard. <clears throat> uh, uh, surprisingly, this Pokemon is not a stealth rocker. Uh, did not know that when I picked it up, but I mean, it doesn't hurt the value of it too much because I mean, it is able to still recover and uh, do all sorts of crazy things. And I'm loving it. I, I've actually never used Gastrodon in draft format before, so I'm very excited to use it. I know it's a really tanky mon. And it's just here to annoy people, especially with this grass weakness is being its only weakness. And we got plenty of coverage in Skarmory, Venusaur, Drapion, even Dragapult if I need to. It, 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 everything covers this thing. And like I said, I just love me a bulky water. And uh, we're going to really enjoy that throughout the season. And uh, yeah, guys, let's go on to the next Pokemon here. All right, guys, our next Pokemon is Vikavolt. I nicknamed it Staggered because it's based off of a stag beetle. And um, Staggered also means uh, uh, to uh, hinder a, a Pokemon, uh, an opponent's ability or, you know, a person's ability. So, uh, Pokemon who staggers people. Uh, sticky Webs, Thunder Wave, Thunderbolt, Discharge. This thing will make people stagger. And with the HP stat of 77, attack of 70, defense of 90, special attack of 145. 145. That hit. One more time for the people in the back. 145. That thing is going to hit everything. I've used, I used it last season, and you don't even need investment, and it Oko's things. It just hits so hard. And then uh, special defense of 75, speed of 43, my favorite number. It was just meant to be. So it's going to get sticky webs off. It's going to annoy people. It's going to be able to live almost any hit multiple times. It's able to roost. So the longevity of this Pokemon just goes on forever. And there's just so many great things about Vikavolt. And I can't wait to use it this season. Staggered is going to make people stagger all season long. And that is the exciting thing about this Pokemon. So like I said, we're really going to uh, depend on its bulk. And... Uh, the ability to slow down the other team. Hopefully we don't face a team full of flying type Pokemon. Because <laughs> that would make Vikavolt not as viable. But, you know, <clears throat> that that is the plan with Vikavolt. He's here to help our mid-tier speed Pokemon jump up to the next level. So, 
really hope we can keep that going there. And Vikavolt's going to be a great Pokemon. And that brings us to our next pick. And that is Magmar. Magmar is the best fire type on the board at this point in the draft. I did take a really long time to pick a Magmar. Pick Magmar. To pick a Pokemon uh, fire type. And uh, I've used Magmar once before, and it was a great Pokemon. Great Eviolite Pokemon. Um, Lithium is the nickname of our Magmar this season. And she is going to be a beautiful pink, shiny color. And she's just going to demolish people every, everywhere we go. With the abilities of Flame Body to hurt those people who just want to physical hit us. To um, Vital Spirit to everyone who's going to want to try to sleep us this season. I mean, I don't see it much often uh, with our Venusaur being around. Like sleep powder and stuff, but you never know. There is Hypnosis people who like to run that crazy set of blunder policy hypnosis and magmar is just going to be like nope you ain't ever getting that off against me that's all i gotta say and magmar's stats are pretty decent not gonna lie with the hp stat of 65 attack of 95 defense 57 special attack 100 special defense a whopping 85 because of the um eviolite boost it's gonna be double that and um speed of 93 so it is very quick it is very quick. I did not expect it to be 93. Magmortar is actually, I believe, like 85. So that that middle that middle form Pokemon having that much more of a speed stat than its evolution is crazy. But I guess it kind of makes sense. Magmortar does have that big old cannon on its left arm. But um, Magmar is going to be a great Pokemon for it. It's so versatile. Its move pool isn't great, but. It's still able to do a lot of things. It has clear smog to get rid of um, uh, stat boost. It has belly drum if I feel like going physical. It has great special hitting stats. Uh, and there's just a lot of things Magmar is going to be able to do. It's going to be able to wall a lot of Pokemon. And I am super excited for it this season. So Lithium, welcome to the team. And let's go on to our final pick of the draft, which wasn't our pick, but somehow some way we managed to get it and this is the pokemon i wanted to draft all draft because it's just going to complement dragapult so well the number one i mean our wild card pick here was grimmsnarl tier one so obviously we had to wait for the uh wild card pick to pick this thing up um melvin originally drafted it and I was distraught, but I was okay because, I mean, I did pick up Drapion just in case we weren't able to get this because, I mean, you know, it, I, I'm the 15th pick in the wild card, but I'm, it's got to drop really far. And I knew Grimmsnarl wasn't going to drop that far. But um, we did originally pick Volcarona, which obviously great Pokemon, great fire type. Uh, it was going to replace Magmar. Luckily, we didn't have to do that because Magmar is still a great Pokemon, and I love it. And uh, we were able to get a three-way trade between me, Lucian Flash, and Melvin. So I gave Lucian Flash my Volcarona. Lucian Flash gave him... What did he give him? He gave him... It was a Tier 1 Pokemon, that's for sure. Uh, Not sure what he gave him. I'll, I'll check that out here in a second. But uh, Melvin gave me the Grimmsnarl. So we're able to get that transaction going. Oh, yeah. Um, Lucian gave Melvin Togekiss. So everyone got great Mons in return. So not a lopsided trade at all. And super excited to have Grimmsnarl this season. Prankster Pokemon <coughs> is great to have in any draft format um uh thunder wave it gets reflect it gets light screen you can hold the light play and your team's bulkier than ever um this thing just covers dragapult perfectly uh i mean fairy types yeah it's still gonna hit decent because it's neutral but ghost types dark types anything like that ain't touching dragapult when this thing's on the field i mean look at this HP of 95, attack stat of 120, 
defense 65 special attack of 95 which no no reason for it to be that high um special defense of 75 and speed of 60. this pokemon is going to be amazing and it probably comes every week i mean spoiler alert it, it it just does this thing does so much for my team it's going to increase my bulk and longevity it's going to be able to t-wave things to slow them down that webs can't um obviously opposing dark types we won't be able to affect them with our statuses but what 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 dark type wants to take a base 120 attack play rough from a grim snarl <laughs> not many i mean i just gotta tell you that right now this thing is gonna just blockade everything and then it's gonna fire off some hits in return it's just such a good pokemon and i'm so glad to have it on the team so this is your 2022 New England Chartreous lineup. Let me know what you guys think down below. And I will see you guys in week one.